Exodus has finally released their long-awaited follow-up to Blood In, Blood Out, Persona Non Grata. With the interviews and previews leading up to the release, we heard repeatedly that the album was going to be heavy, brutal, and meaner than before. It seems almost mandatory that every metal band make these claims before their new release. Unfortunately, it's almost always a sign that the new material is anything but, and it's a cover for a weak release. So after the long wait and hype, what did Exodus deliver? Exactly what they promised. Persona Non Grata is a brutal, no fat on the bone package of everything you want in a thrash album, with no filler to be found. If I have a single complaint, it's that Exodus should have at least had the courtesy to offer their fans, along with the new album, some Ice Cube suppositories. Because my ass was not prepared for this level of savagery. To deep dive into what I think Exodus has captured on this album, we need to look a bit into their history. Uh, I think most people would agree that Exodus fundamentally has two eras in its catalog. The first era being the founding band in the creation of thrash and speed metal era, with releases like Bonded by Blood up to Pleasures of the Flesh and so on. Riff-heavy Bay Area-style songs that have been imitated a thousand times over and creating legions of bands in the classic thrash era sound. Then, starting with albums like Tempo of the Damned and Shovel-Headed Kill Machine, Exodus moved into a more modern metal song arrangement style and production, with the apex of that material being probably Atrocity Exhibition and the Exhibit B album. So is Persona Non Grata a continuation of the second era style? Not at all. Persona Non Grata stands with one leg in each camp, delivering the stripped-down, direct-to-the-point rawness of the first era, but being updated and pushed forward with new ideas more reminiscent of their later work creating the perfect stew of new and old. They've come out of the gate with an intensity that's really almost shocking. Uh, the members are obviously no longer in their 20s, but they're putting out songs with an energy and a fury that would a lot of bands just wouldn't be able to muster. One thing especially noticeable about the album is something severely lacking in a lot of modern metal releases. A definable sound. Gary Holt has been able to update his production and his approach without leaving behind one of the most distinctive guitar tones and thrash. You know it the minute you hear him, a mile off. In behind him is Jack Gibson and his bass tone, which help push them into a newer tonal context, sounding as good as ever and helping contribute a more modern metal bass tone to the mix. Jack's distinctive kind of ringing metal clang that he's known for is upfront and present while still driving the band's rhythm section. I'm also truly astounded at Tom Hunting's work on the drums. Having to go through cancer and still be able to release something this furious and at a level of astounding technical proficiency makes him the stuff of superhuman legend at this point. I really can't poke any holes in the performance of anybody in the band. It's a well-oiled machine of fury blasting on all gears. Now, of course, being a bass channel, we have to check in with Jack Gibson on his work on this album. Be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell as Jack will be coming back in on the channel for another interview to talk with us about the recording of the album and highlights from the different tracks. That'll be coming up here soon. You definitely don't want to miss that one. And if you haven't seen his first interview, check out that one here too. So Jack's tone has helped to define Exodus's more modern sound. And with the added speed and fury of this album, his riff work is just in top form. He's perfectly locked in with a lot of the double kick patterns and some of the wrist-breaking chug patterns being kicked out by Gary Holt, which is no small feat for sure. There are a few highlight moments where the guitars become a little more sporadic and you can hear that signature Jack Gibson grind laying over the drums. And it's always a highlight letting you hear clearly the furnace fueling that Exodus locomotive. So to wrap things up, Persona Non Grata is the perfect Exodus album. No filler songs, no lackluster performances, just everything you want from arguably the founding band of thrash metal. Fury, speed, and a sonic punch to the face that holds its own against any other current metal releases. Hats off to all the members of the band for delivering exactly what they promised. So what are your thoughts and favorite tracks on Persona Non Grata? I'm definitely curious to see what tunes rise up to become the fan favorites. 
hit me up with that in the comments below, and I will see you there. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.